All right, I'm gonna title this one, When Your Opponent's House is Burning Down. I remember recently, um, there was a situation in, I guess it's the House of Col Commons in Canada, and uh, our Prime Minister had uh, grabbed a guy who was supposed to vote in a bill. Grabbed the guy because it was taking too long and in the process bumped a lady's elbow. Or, sorry, bumped a lady with his elbow. And it became this big thing. People called it assault. And uh, some parties were really crying out and it was almost like you know, a soccer match where um, you see people totally overreact when they get bumped. Um, but anyways, so these opposition parties that were being very um, melodramatic, I guess, about it, as you're watching it, you're just like, that's ridiculous. And does that make me want to vote for those parties? Um, another po political situation I saw was uh, involving um, our province. And there was an individual that um, had uh, just really loudly criticized um, a guest premier that came to visit. And what I saw as the reaction from the other parties was silence. They just waited for it to unfold. And I think like the political advice the political advice that uh, the show I was watching was talking about was that when your opponent's house is burning down don't put f don't put wood on the fire and instead just watch maybe roast some marshmallows <laughs> and I was thinking about how often there's things in the news that play out you know, and it may be against a group or a, a religion even that, you know, we may disagree with as Christians. And I was thinking, if we put wood on the fire, does that benefit the gospel? And I really don't think so. I think that it looks like tribalism when we take these opportunities to be like, see, see? Um, so I just thought of that. When your opponent's house is burning down, don't put wood on the fire.